please join us in singing our opening hymn, Where, Char Where Charity and Love Prevail, number 483. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. The readings of today, dear brothers and sisters, speaks about the need of forgiveness, especially from our vengeance and anger we hold against our brother or sister. Brothers and sisters coming together around this altar to participate in this holy mystery of reconciliation. Let us pause for a moment and acknowledge the failures. Times especially we were angry and hold the vengeance. I confess to Almighty God and to my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask Blessed Mary, our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. To keep all good will, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son. The sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the only one, you alone are the By Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Amen. 
let us pray look upon us our god creator and ruler of all things and that we may feel the working feel the working of your mercy grant that we may serve you with all our heart through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever A reading from the book of Sirach. Wrath and anger are hateful things, yet the sinner hugs them tight. The vengeful will suffer the Lord's vengeance, for he remembers their sins in detail. Forgive your neighbor's injustice, then when you pray, your own sins will be forgiven. Can anyone nourish anger against another? and expect healing from the Lord can anyone refuse mercy to another like himself can he seek pardon for his own sins if one who is but flesh cherishes wrath who will forgive his sins remember your last days set enmity aside remember death and decay and cease from sin think of the commandments hate not your neighbor remember the most high's covenant and overlook faults the word of the lord
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, none of us lives for oneself, and no one dies for oneself. For if we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. For this is why Christ died and came to life, that he might be Lord of both the dead and the living. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Peter approached Jesus and asked him, Lord, if my brother sins against me, how often must I forgive? As many as seven times? Jesus answered, I say to you, not the seven times, but the seventy-seven times. That is why the kingdom of heaven may be likened to a king who decide to settle accounts with his servants. When he began the accounting, a debtor was brought before him who owed him a huge amount. Since he had no way to pay it back, his master ordered him to be sold, alone with his wife, his children, and all his property, in payment of the debt. At that, the servant fell down, did him homage, and said, Be patient with me, and I will pay you back in full. Moved with the compassion, the master of the servant let him go and forgave him the loan. When that servant had left, he found one of his fellow servants who owed him a much small amount. He seized him and started to talk him, demanding, Pay back what you owe. Falling to his knees, his fellow servant begged him, be patient with me, and I will pay you back. But he refused. In his turn, he heard the fellow servant put in prison until he paid back the debt. Now, when his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were deeply disturbed and went to their master and reported the whole affair. His master summoned him and said to him, You wicked servant, I forgave you 
യുവർ എൻ്റെ അഡാപ്റ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് യു ബെഗ്ഡ് മീ ടു ഷുഡ് യു നോട്ട് ഹാവ് ഹാഡ് പിറ്റി ഓൺ യുവർ ഫെലോ സെർവൻറ്റ് ആസ് ഐ ഹാഡ് പിറ്റി ഓൺ യു then in anger his master handed him over to the torches until he should pay back the whole debt so will my father in heaven do to you unless each of you forgives your brother from your heart the gospel of the lord wrath and anger are hateful things yet the sin and hugs them tight one of the characters of us that we are we are human beings with a reason a couple of weeks back while i was traveling i was listening to the radio which they were trying to find any similarity between us and the bats to their experiment they were recording the audios of bats in a different situation and a different kind of bats to their surprise they found they are having a kind of a reasonable communication with the other ground of bats they make the noise in a very short and sharp while to the very young and tender babies they make a melody which is very slow and just paced you could see so many more, more studies on put out comparing with our ability with other animal kingdoms or other creatures in the world but most of them are questionable whether they could reason out just like us may not be it is our character that we reason out it is a beautiful book the book of sirach which may might have written sometimes in a uh, 170 AD not long before Jesus might have written down in uh, Alexandria the Jewish community in Alexandria mainly consisted about, uh, of uh, uh, a moral teaching how to go and that is why we have got that uh, from the 27th chapter of zirak the first sentence we heard wrath and anger are hateful things yet sinner hung hug them tight is it so the anger vengeance wrath we all know they are very bad but uh, look upon ourselves sometimes we do the same thing of hugging them holding those things so tight the author says it is one who hugs 
it is not a good person the sinner hugs them tight they do not want to leave it we are most of us our all of us are with a mask now we don't uh, touch each other now days but you see the other day i saw somebody was giving a big hug to another person here that is how we express our love and concern our gratitude our affection is it that way we do with uh, sins and it is furthermore explained to us through that parable given in the gospel of today what did you how did you feel when you were uh, listening to that parable or going through that parable how did you feel you felt much of emotions i'm pretty sure you and i would be together with that uh, master who punished that uh, unkind servant for his offenses of not forgiving somebody a righteous thing to do but uh, do we are we going to stop there on think about this uh, thing and this uh, this uh, very basic aspect any parables are given they are just like a mirror placing in front of us what you see in a mirror you see your reflection parables are the same they are the mirror be placed before us look upon that mirror and see on ourselves how we are if you look we see that we are also equally culpable sinners just like that servant who did not forgive his fellow servant we go to the confessions ask for the forgiveness but are we ready to forgive our fellow brother and sister the same way we received the forgiveness or we keep that vengeance strong in our hearts we may have so many reasons for not having that personal uh, built up that personal relationship with our brother or sister first of all whom do we have hatred on enmity naturally most of the times 99 ta- uh, percentage it will be to you one a non person not to an unknown person because there is no reason to hate an unknown person at all secondly sometimes we say that we are forgiven but are we heart to heart thirdly we need because the other person to always for us the other person is the offender he is a sinful he did not put his step forward for me to make it a for another step as i said we are reasonable person so we uh ka, we uh, ka look, uh, put a logical conclusion in our mind that 
Okay, here is the central line. If the other offender put one step forward, I am also here from my part would be putting a step forward. That's a righteous thing, is not? If that person could come to that center, okay, I am ready to go there because I am so charitable. Are we so? Are we so charitable? May not be so. And that is what Jesus says, the answer to, to Peter. How many times we need to forgive? Seventy. Seven. Seventy multiplied by seven times you may forgive. So, it is our task to reach out to the other person. Okay, that is one way of looking. Saint Thomas Aquinas define the anger in this way. Anger is a passion for revenge that goes beyond the control of reason. Anger is a passion for revenge that goes beyond the control of a reason. Me know. It is a human nature to be angry. But here it is not the a short time anger is uh, projected. But the anger goes with the vengeance to destroy other fellow human beings are spoken here. There are righteous anger for the betterment of, of, of uh, others and for the purpose or a task. For example, our master Jesus was angry sometimes. Do you remember? When he saw that the Jerusalem temple was turned to be a place of um, uh, merchandise or a um, place of market uh, buying and selling, he was literally angry. He made a whip and chased them all out. Was it with vengeance? No, it is for the righteousness. We are not speaking about that anger. We may also, we may also define most of our angers in that way. Now, dear brothers and sisters, our anger goes to the extension of uh, destruction of something. That anger we need to treat. Anger itself, uh, the anger and the vengeance we keep in our hearts is just like a cancer. If you don't treat what will happen, it will eat and destroy all your body. Same way. It can destroy, it can eat and destroy your soul completely. And that is why our master is asking the gospel of today. Not that person, the offender, need to come to you or come to a middle stage to meet the, uh, meet the task of forgiveness, but go furthermore. You and I uh, played the hops. Uh, Hop sacks, hop sacks. You you all play in the school. You make the columns. You jump on one leg to another, and with the with an object in front of you, you chase that object. Anger also can be the same way. In the first column, it is number one. You are angry with your fellow human beings. Sometimes you go to the second column. 
and to say i have forgiven him and that is what we practice many times in the confession but when you sit back again the vengeance would be raging from your heart coming up because the offense is not gone that will be the second column you deal with it can be multiple times and our mass and defined 77 times you need to forgive it may be a constant actions also dear brothers and sisters we are asked to become perfect like god the father himself jesus in the gospel passage of today at the last sentence he said it will be the same way you will be treated back by your heavenly father we are all the faithful community are to project the goodness mercy and kindness of god to other fellow human beings and god is how god has got that unconditional forgiveness for us let us how that unconditional forgiveness practice in our lives that god may may not have that vengeance against us Please stand up for the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made. for us men for our salvation he came down by and by the holy spirit as father made him and became man for our sake he was crucified under pontius pilate he suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead His kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adorned and glorified, who has blackened through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess my baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. trusting in god's mercy and compassion we offer our prayers and petitions for the church may the lord bless her and keep her safe from all evil let us pray to the lord lord to hear our prayers for harmony and justice in our nation and across the world May the prince of peace dwell in the hearts of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all who are holding on to past hurts and grievances, may the Lord give them the grace to forgive. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For this 
family of faith, may the Lord fill us with love and truth and guide us in the ways of wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For all those chosen to take up their cross in union with Christ as a priest, deacon, or in the consecrated life, that others might have eternal life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For our beloved dead, that they may know the loving embrace of our merciful Father. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Father of mercy and compassion, look beyond our sins and hear the prayers we offer you with contrite and repentant hearts. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. and singing our offertory hymn for the beauty of the earth, hymn number 587. brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Look with favor on your supplication, O Lord, and in your kindness accept this, your servant's offerings, that what each has offered to the, to the honor of your name may serve the salvation of all through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to the humanity's fallen state. And by his suffering, cancelled out our sins. By his raising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim.
you are indeed holy o lord and holy you have created and rightly gives you praise for through your son our lord jesus christ by the power and working of the holy spirit you give life to all things and make them holy and you never cease to gather a people to yourself so that from the rising of the sun to its setting a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name therefore o lord we humbly implore you by the same spirit graciously make holy this gifts we have brought you for consecration that they may become the body and the blood of your son our lord jesus christ at whose command we celebrate this mysteries for on the night he was betrayed he himself took bread and giving you thanks he said the blessing broke the bread gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and he giving you thanks he said the blessing gave the chalice to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the mem- memorial of the saving passion of your Son, His wonder as resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to His second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church in, and recognize the sacrificial victim by whose death you will reconcile us to you, Vassal. grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his holy spirit and may become one body one spirit in christ may he make a fast and eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect yes especially with the most blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed joseph her spouse with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help may this sacrifice of our conciliation be pray o lord and advance the peace and salvation of all the world be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant francis our pope stephen our bishop the order of bishops all the clergy the entire people you have gained for your own listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion of merciful father gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world to our departed brothers and sisters and all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life give kind and maintain your kingdom where we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through christ our lord through whom he bestowed on the world all that is good through him and with him and in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever
at the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of us. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy. Lord, I am not worthy.
Let us pray. May the working of this heavenly gift, O oh Lord, we pray, take possession of our minds and bodies so that its effect and not our own disease may always prevail in us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go and reconcile with your brothers and sisters. Thanks be to God. Just an announcement. Okay, remember some of you could uh, stay back as a volunteers to clean the pews. And there won't be uh, confessions after the Mass in the in. Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday because we have got immediately after the Mass, we have the meetings. Thank you. As we go forth, please join in singing The Spirit Sends Us Forth, hymn number 377. Go to 